What's up guys, Jared back. I got a really, really awesome ROM for your Nexus 5, uh, for your rooted Nexus 5s, that is. Um, I've actually been using this for, I think maybe a week now or so, and I I'm really, really digging it. This is obviously an Android 4.4 based uh, ROM, and it is called Cataclysm. Um, what I really like about this ROM is that uh, it's got an awesome amount of customizations. Uh, it's really, really slick, and I, one thing that I didn't really understand, but you know, kind of piqued my interest was the fact that in the description of the ROM, uh, on the XDA, uh, XDA developers page, which of course I'll be posting a link to in the description below so you guys can go ahead and download this and flash it on your own, um, is that he says that it's uh, art compatible. Uh, well, I, I don't really know what he means by that because Android 4.4 KitKat is already art compatible uh, as it were, but um, regardless, so I, I don't know what that means, but I have enabled art and I haven't had any issues with applications that I've been running so far, and I have noticed that slight um, sort of, I guess you could say performance boost, um, you know, having art enabled. Now, I want to talk about what I really, really like about this ROM, uh, or getting back to, you know, the awesome amount of customizations. Uh, pulling down the notification tray, you'll notice that I've got a bunch of different toggles that you don't normally see, um, obviously, in stock Android. Um, so up at the top here, you notice I've got actually a network speed uh, tile here, and that actually does change based on, you know, my upload and download speeds, whether I'm on Wi-Fi or data, which is awesome. Um, I have the option uh, to toggle LTE on or off in my instance, that would be to save battery life, uh, depending on where I am. and how much battery I have left. We also have a Cataclysm's um, dedicated settings button. So I think that's really cool. That way, if you wanna make some quick uh, ROM customizations, instead of jumping into the settings and then looking for the settings uh, option, you can just click that, go right into there. You also have the option to toggle location on and off. So that would be great for battery savings. We have an immersive mode toggle. As a lot of you guys know, Android comes with this new immersive mode that allows developers to take advantage of that. So when you go into a full screen application, it's true full screen and actually hides the silly nav bar down there at the bottom, which can get a bit annoying in full screen applications. So just to kind of demonstrate how that looks, so you can see everything disappears. There are, I do have some issues with this particular mode, although I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's a wicked idea. The only problem is, is that um, when swiping up from the bottom, it doesn't always go as smoothly as that. Um, sometimes when I swipe up from the bottom, um, it'll enable Google Now or it'll bring, it'll do something like that. Um, and that's just swiping up from the bottom. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing it now, of course, Murphy's Law, but nevertheless, that's, I just wanted to sort of mention that. So you guys, uh, one of my, um, I posted on Google Plus that I'm loving this ROM and one of my viewers actually commented saying, love the immersive mode, just make sure you disable Google Now. And that's a great idea. If you disable the Google, not disable Google Now in general, but disable swiping up from the bottom them, um, and you'll probably have a little more luck with this immersive mode and I tend to agree so I'm just gonna go ahead and disable that of course we do have the torch and um, the USB fast charge option if you happen to be plugging it into your computer um, you do have that fast charge option there uh, toggle which is awesome so let's go ahead and jump into the cataclysm settings itself which by the way if we were to pull this down into settings um, everything's nice and clean in here very well laid out uh, well it's stock Android of course it's well laid out but then of course what I'm sort of getting at is how we just have this Nice little tucked away um, cataclysm settings for all the different customizations and things like that, which is just, which is just awesome in, in my opinion. Uh, so starting up from the top here, we've got quick toggles. So you can choose your quick toggles. As you can see, we've got a very large list of toggles here, a lot of which I'm taking advantage of. So you can go ahead and select as many as you want and just really pack that full. Another thing um, that I'm just going to sort of off topic here, you'll notice that uh, because I have no notifications waiting for me, when I pull down, it goes to my toggles right away, which is you know, obviously really convenient. I don't think I need to explain why that's convenient to you guys. Um, you can also resize your toggles too. So let me show you something here. Go up to 150%, pull it down and they're huge. Now I actually have to scroll. Uh, it's kind of neat. Um, I probably wouldn't go that big, but you know, maybe it's just some dudes out there with just gigantic thumbs and um, you guys, you know, you, you need some bigger toggles, right? Um, you can rearrange your toggles as you would imagine. We've got quick pull down. So this is basically a couple of different options in here, but this is basically, you know, this thing when there's no notifications, vibrate on click, show toggles labeled, and of course, enable fourth column. Uh, different lock screen options in here too. So slider shortcuts, uh, the wallpaper, uh, lock screen style if you wanted to. So I can go default as you can see here and I'll turn it off, turn it back on. You'll notice we actually have, um, you know, a little stat or status bar, but across the top there we have uh, stuff down at the bottom. Um, but if, then if I was to go to say, for instance, um, hide all, 
and I turn it off and turn it back on again, you'll notice the status bar gone uh, is gone. So is uh, so are those things, and I can't actually go to my camera. Now that's really cool, but um, I like having access to my camera from the lock screen, so I'm actually just going to keep it as default. Uh, disable lock screen camera if you wanted to. Um, only one lock screen widget. Lock screen widgets maximized, and so on. Um, moving on from there, we do have this in-call blocker, so a lot of different uh, options in here to protect yourself from unwanted callers. Um, this is something interesting, smart radio. So uh, you may be able to read here, but it says this will keep your radio in low power mode when mobile modem is unused. This applies, for example, when mobile data is off or you are connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, in essence, this is just to save you battery based on, um, uh, I guess, the timing of when you're when it tells your radios to turn on and off and stuff like that. So you've got high power mode. So when I have, um, I guess, a lot of power or battery left I, I'm still a little bit confused on this um, I've kind of optimized it based on what I thought it was and I think I have been noticing a uh, battery improvement but if you guys want to tinker around this might be a really great option to um, sort of hang on to those extra percentages of battery when you need to um, so lots of different options in here to uh, muck around with your uh, your mobile radios um, soft keys fade mode so this is kind of an interesting one so when I go like this You'll notice down here at the bottom, uh, if I was to touch, let's say for instance here, uh, touch there, and then you'll notice the soft keys actually end up just disappearing, which is really, really cool, right? And then if you want to use them again, you, you, you probably won't be able to see on camera, I don't know, but the um, place markers, the little tiny dot place markers for those particular nav bar buttons um, are still there. So, you know, of course, I can just memorize which they were, so go into recent tasks, there they are. You'll notice it disappears again, jump back into cataclysm settings and they're like that and of course if i had immersive mode on you can really get interesting uh with this so um oh and for some reason now it's disabled so we'll disable it there we go uh immersive mode i can turn that on or off swipe for bars um battery style circle and text so as you can see we've got some different options in there uh aosp keyboard layout so you can really customize the keyboard layout maybe you want it to be bigger and wider um, you can do that in here which is awesome to have those options for the aosp keyboard uh you've got the nfc polling mode if you want to change some different things in there. Uh, resize the navigation bar. You'll notice that mine's actually not the average size, so it's currently sitting at 65%. That was to put it up to 100, standard size. Um, or if I really wanted to get crazy with it, you know, 13%, and you can see that it's almost completely un unnoticeable. I mean, they're just tiny, tiny. So, um, I do like it at around 50%. I think it kind of adds to some more screen real estate while I can still actually touch my uh, the buttons that I need to. Um, what else we have? AMP, uh, miscellaneous. So this is something interesting. Miscellaneous, various different tweaks. So all kinds of just random little tiny tweaks in here. A lot of which you'd probably find in, say, for instance, like the exposed framework and so on. Um, but yeah, all kinds of great stuff in here. Um, if you really want to go ahead and pause it at any point in the video and uh, check them out. Um, lots of really, you can see that I'm even taking advantage of a few of them, like disabling safe headset volume warning, um, the volume rocker music controls, volume rocker wake, long press back to kill applications, and so on. Lots of great, great, um, cool miscellaneous tweaks in there. Uh, and of course, you can always restore the settings if you made a whole bunch of settings and you don't like them. You can always go back if you don't remember uh, what they are. Um, and other than that, um, everything's been really really smooth great battery life no issues with anything no calling issues nothing everything's just perfect um, so anyways I definitely recommend you guys try this ROM out uh, if you do have a rooted Nexus 5 and you're uh, interested in looking for another ROM um, but that's basically it though guys thanks as always for watching if you like this video click that likes button down below if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos in the future but that's it for now thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one cheers guys